back to our everyday living. Um, I'm going to be processing a bit of uh, copper out of fridge motors. So I thought I'd have it all set up, ready to roll. Uh, all the string and mainly most of the plastic's been removed um, to speed the process up. So at the end, we'll weigh how much copper we get out of this. All these, there's uh, what? Oh, probably about half a dozen here. Probably a bit more. Maybe 15, I don't know. I didn't count them. Um, so we will be using the cutoff wheel. I've got glasses on. Um, all the safety gear that I need. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting it in the vise and just cutting it out. I had June down here helping me as well. So she done a bit of a, a no-no with some of them by pushing it all inside. So it's not going to come out real easy if it's like that. So I'm going to have to do that. All this should come out quite simple and quite easy once um, I've cut that off there. So let's get to, and look, I've got a set of scales over here. I'm going to drop it in all in this tub. Um, then we'll weigh the tub. Here we'll weigh the tub before we start. Turn it on. Tub is one kilo. So we just got to take a kilo off. That's all we have to do. Half a pound, I think. Not sure. Ah, here we go. I'll, I'll have a look. For all those people that like the pounds. Go pounds. 2.8, uh, 2.28 pounds. How does that work? Two pounds, four ounces. 1.04 kilos. Oh, okay. I don't know how that works. But anyway, that's this set of scales. Um, it's a set of postage scales. Goes up to 65 kilos. Uh, don't know what that is in pounds. But anyway, <laughs> um, there'll be two cuts on this. I'll cut this side off and then I'll turn it around and do the other side. It's the only way I have been able to do these. Keep it close down to the bottom. And get all the shavings in there as well hopefully so anyway no point holding it all up and we'll just get into a time lapse and get this all done we'll find out how much we get at the end i suppose how much copper we get um there's no point weighing all the um all the steel out of it we're just interested in the copper today so how much we're going to get out of them and we'll count on how, how much there is at the end i'll put them over there so let's time lapse it
three to go As you've probably noticed in the time lapse there that I was getting a lot of the plastic out. Um, better that it's not in there because that way it degrades it more. So the best, it's already a number two because you've seen a lot of smoke going. Um, I do hold my breath with the, the, the um, smoke so I've got no problems and I have got a mask on. So yeah, I, I just hold my breath so I don't breathe it in anyway because the mask's not 100%. Much easier to hold me breath and than breathe all that smoke in. It's only the oil from out of the fridge motors. I've disposed of the oil at the correct way. Fine. Doing it this way, it's so much easier and quicker. Got a bit of wire there. For me, it is anyway. No one showed me how to do this. Just my way of doing it. I find it easy. If I see a bit of plastic go down, it's much easier to take the glove off and get the plastics out. I don't need to, to worry about taking the glove off, but I do anyway, sometimes. I find it's a lot easier to do these than doing a transformer. Way easier to do these. I can do more of these when I, than what I can do a transformer. They take forever. I get more copper out of these than what I do out of a microwave transformer. Um, some of the microwaves are aluminium anyway. You probably know, so I chucked a couple over my shoulder. I'll show you what they are shortly. I'll get these other two finished. Shouldn't take me long. A couple of minutes. Be with me. That's that one done. Oh, a bit of plastic down there. Another piece down there. Don't walk about. Get this one done. It's not the best vice. It was here when I got here. It was here when my parents were here too. My parents used to take care of this place where we are. Bit of plastic out of there, sweet. Um, so yeah, that's the main reason why we actually landed the job because they knew us. So we had a, basically had a foot in the door already. So I don't mind being here. Bit of an adventure, it is dark at the moment. We have close to probably mm, 
32 kilos of copper. That's a good guess. I don't know whether that is it or not. Oh, I'm only guessing. Oh, yeah, that's got some weight in that. Be pretty close to 32. That's just what I think. We'll see at the end. We will weigh it. I'm not worried about weighing the steel. I've got a whole heap of that to put through as well. Process. Oh, I've processed it. I've just got to take it to the scrap scrapyard. That's all. Hopefully there'll be a scrap run coming up. I can't guarantee when. But yeah, there'll be a video coming out for that too. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Get all these strands. that one one to go <sighs> let's hope it's not aluminium okay that side it needs to make a bit of maintenance the old voice you turn it about five turns before it opens up aluminium that's how you give it a test um i'll see if they're aluminium no they're copper so we've got half aluminium half copper so in that sense they're the copper ones so what i'll do is just get the snips over here and we'll just chop them save chopping the whole lot Turn him around. Might be able to do that with the ones on the floor too. On the ground. Just get our uh, copper out, not the aluminium. I thought that might have been that. Is that it? I think that is. No, why have we still got some there? Oh, because it's down in there. It's down in there, it's hiding. Plastic. Fall in the hands. So, we'll have a look at the ones on the ground. Because I'm definitely not going to cut any more out of that. There's no point. I don't get anything for the aluminium, um, but I can separate, when you're thinking of it, the aluminium wire, like itself, I can later on, um, just cut that off and put that in with alloy, um, because it's aluminium wire. I can, it'll go through as dirty alloy. That mightn't be a silly idea, but no, I don't know anyone that has done that. Still plucking copper out of there. Mm -hmm. Any more? No. Right, 
Let's get two to these others. Sit in there. So at the moment, uh, we've got in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a half. You must say half because it's only been a half a transform, um, half a motor. Um, where's these other two? We'll have a look at them. See what we can do with them. See what we're going to get. That one's completely, yeah, a no-go. He's all alloy. I started cutting it. Oh, we don't want that. So he's a no-no. You can go with you. Uh, this one here, I'm not sure on. I did give it a scuff and then just chucked it over my shoulder. Here we go. I started cutting it, actually. Uh, so where's the centre ones? Where is that? And the ones are there. Just give them a cut. Give it a slight cut. The centre ones are copper. Right, yo. We'll take our centre ones out. Like, you don't have to use a grinder. You can just use ordinary pair of tin snips. But I find the grinder quicker. But when you don't want to mix it with the rest, yeah. A good pair of tin snips, these. All right, put that over here. Pull those centers out. So she's half and half. There's no point leaving it the way it is because I'd rather pull the copper out. Not worry about the rest. Even if I leave it together, like leave the aluminium in there and just put it with normal steel, it should be okay that way too. But that's definitely all copper there. Yep, she's got the got the nice tinge to it. Come out. Got a few left there. A few strands over that side. Think we got it all? A little bit down there. Yeah, it's still a little bit there. Only a couple of strands. It's starting to get into the aluminium stuff now. Yep, that's the aluminium. It's locking up on me. not it looks the same and because of the coating on the outside but I know where I'm grabbing it from Scared the hell out of me. Yeah, you can wait. Hang on.
Game 5, everyone. That was all sorted. Phone call. Um, all this is aluminium here. From what I can gather. I'm looking at the end. There's no, no goldy tinge to it. Nothing. It's a silvery tinge. So, yeah, we're not going to dig any more of that out. I will leave that as it is. Got the most of it. And I'll sort them out later. Let's see how much this weighs. Now, I've got to take a kilo off for the tub. Better turn the scales on. Glad these scales light up at night time. They light up nice and blue. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, so that hole. 15. What did I say? 13, didn't I? I can't remember what I said. I'll have to go back through the video and find out. But anyway, um, we got 15.4 kilos. Uh, so that's uh, 34 pounds. Neat. Pretty damn good, I reckon. And if I change it again, 34 pounds and no ounces. Well, that's perfect. So 15.44 kilos. Pretty damn good. Out of... How many did I just say? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You must say 20 and a half because I only got half of them out. <laughs> you know? But anyway, um, so that's retrieving copper out of fridge motors. Sweet. I wasn't expecting these to be half and half but that's what the way it is it's the way it's worked out um yeah so i'm gonna end it off there everyone the phone call was june bringing me up for for dinner come and get tea uh dinner tea whatever everyone ever says is it, ever says it says it you know um but yeah that's pretty damn good i like that nearly 15 and a half kilos that's a lot of copper That'll add to what I've already got over here. I uh, can't actually show you. Um, it's in the yellow bin there. But, uh, yeah, pretty good, I reckon. So if you've come this far, everyone, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. I'm liking all this copper. That's nice stuff, that. And if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to end it off there. I've enjoyed pulling these apart, getting the copper out. I love getting the copper. I don't know what that would be worth. I cannot tell you. Prices are fluctuating all the time. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.